Hey, check out this cool alphabet program that I made. A, B, C, D, E, F, G... Oh, wait a minute. I left out the letter B. Gosh darn it. Okay, so this is a silly example, but it does illustrate something that happens a lot for real when you're programming command blocks, which is you'll write a little command block program in a chain and then realize that you need to insert a new command block between two of the existing command blocks in your chain. And as a result, you have to shift kind of all of these command blocks over. And that could be a little bit of a pain in the neck. If you know the clone command, I could do clone, tab, 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 in order to get the coordinates of this block, and then go over here, tab, 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 to get the coordinates of this block, and then look back over here, and say tab, 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 to put something here, replace force, to clone it over, and then destroy this block. And I will have A followed by a space, N, C, D, E, F, G. And you may or may not have followed what I just did. But in any case, what I just did it took a lot of keystrokes. I had to walk down to the end of the line and walk back and make sure that my cursor was pointed at the right position uh, and do a bunch of stuff. And takes some time, takes a bunch of keystrokes, is somewhat error prone. It would be really nice if there were an easier way to insert some space into a command block chain because that's something that we're going to need to do a lot. And so I'm going to show you a tool to do exactly that. Installing this tool into your world is really easy. I'm just going to set down an impulse command block that has a whole lot of air above it. And into the command, I'm going to paste in a giant command. And I'm going to change needs a redstone to always active and say done. And then a whole lot of magic is going to happen. The command, by the way, will be linked in the description of this video so that you can get it and paste it into your own command block in your own world. Nudge Z by Dr. Brian Lurgan 111. Use uh, slash game rule help Nudge Z 111 to get help. Rather than get the help screen, I will just show you how it works. Basically, I want to insert some space between A and CDFG over here. Recall that I don't have B, and so I can take my spawn egg and hold down shift and put it on the top of this block that I want to move over, and kablam! C, D, E, F, G has been moved over one space to the right, one space in the positive Z direction. All of my arrows are pointing in the positive Z in this particular chain. And as a result, yeah, we just moved it over and we made space so that now if I wanted to, I could insert, say, B in here and correct my little alphabet to say A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And yeah, it's just that easy. If I wanted to insert blocks in other places, let's say if between D and E, I wanted to have D and a half for some reason, I could do this and say D and a half. <laughs> and yeah, just insert a little bit more space to insert another command block over there. So it's just that easy. You just set down the spawn egg on type on top of one of the blocks, and it will take that block and all the blocks to the right of it and nudge them over in the positive Z direction. But wait, there's more! <laughs> Imagine we have the opposite problem where we just got rid of a command block, and now we want to take these and shift them back to the left. We can do that with Nudge Z as well. Simply put a redstone block in the area that you want to move everything back to the left, and use Nudge Z on top of the redstone block. And zing, it moves everything over and deletes the redstone block. And so right now I have A, B, C, D, D and a half. Let's get rid of the D and a half, which is this one. So I'm going to destroy this block. And this is the space I want to get rid of. So I'll put a redstone block there and use nudge Z on top of the redstone block. And it moves these other blocks down. And now I have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, just like that. You can kind of see how it works if I do it on a larger example. So suppose I want to nudge all these blocks over. I can do this. If you watch carefully what's happening here, you might get a good sense, but basically there's an armor stand that travels all the way down to the end until it finds some airspace somewhere over here. And then it starts traveling back, and as it's traveling back, it's copying each block one further over in the positive Z direction until it gets back to where it started. And so if I run it once again, see it go all the way down until it finds some air, and then as it's going back, it's moving each of these blocks one block over. And similarly, we can watch what happens when I do nudge Z on a redstone block. And it's a similar kind of thing, but basically, once again, an armor sand travels down to find the airspace. And then it just starts cloning these blocks one block to the left, one block to the left, one block to the left as the other armor stand reaches the one that found the airspace at the end. So it's kind of pretty straightforward in operation. You can kind of actually watch it happening on a bigger, bigger example like the one that I have here.
And Nudgy also has some safeguards to prevent you from doing something foolish. For example, if I try to nudge the ground over here, well, there's like an infinite number of sandstone blocks in the ground over here. So it's going to have to travel forever out to infinity to try to find an air block. It only tries moving for 50 blocks. Uh, and if it doesn't find an air block after 50 blocks, then it just gives up and prints in the chat that it failed to nudge. There were more than 50 blocks found before it actually found an error block. And the same kind of thing if you try to delete blocks. Once again, it's going to look for an error block, and when it fails, it just prints in the chat, failed to nudge. So that way you don't accidentally use it on some structure other than your command blocks and end up shifting the whole world over a block. If you happen to accidentally discard your Nudge Z spawn egg and you want to get it back, or you just want to check out the help, you can say a game rule help Nudge Z 111, and help dash Nudge Z will autocomplete in the chat. But if I type that in, it will say you've been given a useful spawn egg. Use the egg on top of most any block, Nudge, to nudge that block and its followers plus one in the Z direction. Use the egg on top of a redstone block to delete the redstone block and nudge the following blocks negative one in the Z direction. And, as we've seen, it's useful for inserting an airspace into the middle of the Z-pointing command chain to nudge the block you want to insert before, or for deleting a block from the chain by destroying it, putting redstone in its place, and nudging the redstone. And that's exactly what we saw before over here. If I want to nudge these last three blocks over here, I can just nudge them like that. And if I want to move these blocks back, oops, I can put some redstone here and use Nudge Z right there in order to shift them back. So there you go. I am Dr. Brian Lorgan 111, and occasionally in our learning command block tutorial series, we'll have little videos like this where I introduce useful tools that I think will be useful to you guys for programming and debugging different command block contraptions that you're working on when you're working on your homework or programming some things on your own. So I would definitely recommend that you try out this little Nudge Z contraption that I've made. I hope, as always, that you guys are having a great day, and I will see you again soon. Bye bye.